Malcolm, uh, thanks for joining us on uh, Robin's Play. Um, a bit about what you do first, I know most people probably watching this probably don't realise what you do as a club chaplain, but just explain briefly sort of what you do here at the football club. Okay, so yeah, I'm chaplain here, I've been chaplain here for the last six years or so. Um, one of the things that a chaplain does is really just to be a kind of another friend of the club really. Um, so our job is really to come round, make relationships with all different players and staff, mm. get to know people. And one of the main things we can be is be another listening ear, mm. um, all different sorts of times during uh, the club's life, really. And I know most people think chaplain, religion. It's not all about religion, is it? It's, it's, it's like you just said, about listening and, and being another, another friend here. That's right. I mean, my daytime job is I'm the vicar up at Bishop's Cleeve, just up the road. Um, and But coming down here is, is, is not about pushing religion on anybody yeah. at all and we're motivated by our Christian faith our sports chaplains but that's not our main agenda our main agenda is just to be another friend of the club listen talk chat help where we can and I've known you for years and years and years and have you had many sort of players that have sort of come to you and and, and asked for sort of you know just a bit of support or listening here yeah over the years there have there have been some players who um, have you know, very open about talking about life, the deeper things in life, meaning of life, all those sorts mm. of things. And, you know, times of chatting with people, you know, very open to talking about that. Um, players who have perhaps issues with different things that go on, as all players do, um, to do with life, family, mm. injury. Um, I mean, I think one of the things that we do is recognise that um, players are human beings first, I suppose, and yeah. with all the other issues that we have, and, and also footballers. And, and I suppose, in a way, do you think... They're kind of on the spotlight footballers, you know, they're, they're, they're always in the media, they're always sort of got people sort of looking into their lives and, mm. and I suppose in a way having someone else there just to show a bit of support can, can also help on the pitch as well. Well, I'd like to think so. I hope you probably have to ask the players how, how supportive they find their chaplain. Hopefully there's something positive there. Um, but I think, I think you're right. Um, they are in the spotlight a lot. There's a lot of pressure on them. Um, I think football, as you know, comes with great joys when things mm. are going well, but then frustration if they're living a long way from family or perhaps injured or other issues. So just to have somebody else that they can talk to who isn't picking the team, who isn't talking about their injuries, um, but could just be someone that comes alongside, I'd like to think, is, is, is something really positive. But it's not just players as well. Mm. The idea of sports chaplains is here. We're, we're for all the staff, yeah. um, everybody else as well. And I, and I know it's, it's it's really sort of an important issue because there's a couple of lads here that you know have a bit of faith, and you've been coming for years and years and years, and it must be something that you really really enjoy. I, I love what I do. Um, years ago, when someone said, um, "Would you consider being chaplain?" because the other guy was moving on, yeah. I think that took me all of ten seconds to think about. Yeah, I think so. Football, faith, guys. Yeah. You know, what's not to like, really. And I suppose that you know, faith and religion is is a massive thing in sport these days. You, know, you hear about it so much, and and I suppose the boys that do come here with a bit of faith, it's just another outlet for them. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, um, I think we're recognising more and more just how important that that side of life is to, to many of us, mm. really. And I think some of the things that have been happening in football over previous years, particularly with the um, issues over depression, yeah. some really bad incidents. I think people are still asking, "Wow, all this money, all yeah. this success." what's that all about really so again we, we might have some we can be someone that can just perhaps talk about that and you talk about issues issues like that man how important can someone just sitting down and saying come on you know, cup of tea chat to me and just let almost letting those feelings out and just talking to someone how important can that be i think most people want to be listened to at one point just to have someone who really engages them and listen and is genuinely interested in where they're at and what's mm. going on and um uh, from, from my time here that, that sort of thing has happened reasonably often yeah. uh, of course it's all confidential it's one of the things we as chaplains are hopefully marked by our sense of mm. keeping things to ourselves and not passing things on so um, but there I think there have been times when I felt we I've had genuinely rich conversations with people yeah. um, who have been going through some perhaps challenging times really and um, you've worked with a numerous amount of managers since being here and how does Mark sort of rate on the scale of working with Mark's great and um, we got on really well and uh, I think that um, he's been brilliant in terms of just letting me continue to be around the club mm. and come down to the training ground here mix with the players um, yeah so to have a good relationship with the manager for us chaplains is, is really important and I think probably like most managers who have met me it probably takes a bit of a while to yeah. get to know what's going on and 
those that have worked with the chaplain before, like John Warburton, yeah. uh, was here when I was first here. He had a really good experience of chaplaincy in the past. Mm. So his introduction to me was, Mount, great to meet you. Um, introduced me to the players, said, go where you like, speak yeah, to who yeah. you want to, and it was great. And I, and I suppose there's so, so many memories that come with it, you know, the sort of successes and off the, on the pitch. And yeah. I suppose it, that's kind of like a bonus for you as well, because you, you feel part of the football club. As well as the yeah. club feeling part of you know your church. Yeah, I think I think that's right. I mean, part of the things that we do, say as a church up the road, is sharing the good times together mm. and sharing the hard times together. And so I think we all know football can be like there's the great highs. Yeah. I think I'd only been in, in post um, a couple of months before we had our Millennium Stadium yeah. playoffs, you know, and uh, you know started on a real high. But but since then there's been you know promotion, relegation, um, some challenging times yeah. as well. And I suppose, in terms of this being a hub of, I suppose, the local community, much like a church yeah. is, do you think that there's, it's important to have those relationships with, you know, between the club and, and, and the church and uh, for a chaplaincy? Yeah, I mean, I tell our church quite a lot about what I do here, not all the time, because not everybody likes football, yeah. but I do tell them and I want them to be supportive of what I'm doing and supportive of the club as well. Football does regularly get a mention in yeah. our services and uh, and we've got quite a few fans who are in the church as well and there have been a couple of players who have been up to mind of things and come and looked around and moved around. Yeah. And what do, you, what do you see in the future for, for Chapman Town? And I know you're keen to keep hold of the Chapman Sea for, for years to come anyway, but mm. what do you think for this football club? Do you think it's going on the, in the right direction? I think definitely. Having been here the last, what was it, six or so years, um, to see how things have developed and down here at the training ground, mm. the way that um, you know we have much more of the facilities down here. And yeah. it feels a really good place to be down here in terms of the feel of the place, the, the, the facilities. Um, it certainly seems to be we're moving in the right direction. Um, even though our league position at the moment might belie that fact, I mm. think I think I think potentially we're going to be in a very good place. And I suppose for for any fans out there who you know have a, have a, a religion and or just want to, sp to speak to someone, is is the church open for them at all times? Yeah. So I mean, we are sports chaplains here for everybody, for yeah. those of faith, for those of different faith, for those of no faith at all, and um, so we're always well. I say we're not always around, but we are available. It's the idea for everybody.